If you are living with diabetes, what is the risk that COVID-19 poses to you and how can you stay safe and healthy during the pandemic? Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith and we're talking to Dr. Goika Roglic today. Welcome, Goika. Goika, please describe the risk posed by COVID-19 to people living with diabetes. Diabetes has been increasingly common in the past 30 years and there are now more than 400 million people living with diabetes in the world. Unfortunately, about one half of them do not know they have diabetes, they have not been diagnosed. And of those who are diagnosed, many do not have access to medicines nor health services that they need. This pandemic has shown that people with diabetes are at higher risk than people without diabetes of having a severe uh, illness, COVID, and also dying of COVID. The two main types of diabetes are type 1 and type 2. Type 2 is much more common. Type 1 seems to also have a higher risk than type 2 of a severe COVID illness and uh, death. Goika, please explain how people living with diabetes can stay healthy during the pandemic. The pandemic and the measures to contain it uh, are quite a challenge for people with diabetes. The main stone in treatment is physical activity and a healthy diet, and that might not be possible uh, in the pandemic conditions. The people with diabetes have to be creative about how to manage to continue the recommended physical activity and a healthy diet within the constraints of posed by the pandemic. Also, the health system uh, has to ensure that people get their medication uh, regularly. Goika, please explain how people living with diabetes can stay safe from COVID-19. Given that people with diabetes are considered a vulnerable group, because of the higher risk of severe disease and a higher risk of death than people without diabetes, we strongly recommend all the measures for containing the pandemic and for protecting uh, ourselves individuals, such as hand washing, wearing masks, ventilating uh, indoor habitats, socializing with people, preferably outdoors whenever possible, and keeping uh, the safe physical distance. There is also vaccination, which is recommended for people with diabetes as a priority group for vaccinating. Vaccinations uh, are encouraged and they have been proven to be safe and effective. Thank you, Goika. That was Science in 5 today. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy and stick with science.